Hi students, how are you? Are you still there? Yes. Now the situation is very dangerous. You know about it. Uh, the novel coronavirus, COVID-19, is very um, spreading all over the world, and we can't uh, expecting uh, such situation. That is very dangerous in our society, the human being, especially human beings. And I think the uh, the contacting disease is very uh, dangerous in this time. Okay, and we aware about this disease. This is a viral disease. This is spreading very fast one. This disease affecting spreading uh, through the body fluids, such as saliva, sneezing, coughing, etc., and and contacting uh, with fingers. The virus is very small, but this is very dangerous. Uh, they can't leave. They can't leave four hours from uh, about all about four hours from the affected area. The cooling time, the coolest time, is very favorable for spreading this virus. So we are using cold water only. We are we are we are not using. We are avoiding ice cream, such cold uh, cold drinks, etc. And. We are using sanitizers regularly. When you touch everywhere, after the touching uh, ATM counter uh, and such uh, such type of uh, shops, uh, mandatory supermarket, etc., and shops anywhere, you just uh, going. And after this, you are walking, and then use suddenly use sanitizers. Okay, and you wash your hands in soap water about 20 seconds in proper way. You, you, you just you all know about that the washing mothers of uh, this with soap water because we, we are all, always seeing uh, social media, TV, the media uh, about the importance of washing your wash your hands with soap water. And a person with your house, a person, uh, he went out and came from outside in your house, and they they were using the public transport system. After using the public transport system, they 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 were train to our house. Suddenly, they are removing her dresses. And bathing with soap. After bathing, then the person will enter your house and use sanitizers. And a person must wear a mask, the face mask, the full covering of nose and mouth. Not drop and this this way. Full cover the whole time and do not touch the front of the mask when using it. And we are just using and reusing, uh, reusing the mask um, after proper washing. You, you, you take your mask about with two fingers in this way only, not this way, this way. Okay, this is very communicable disease one. And keep the social distance every time, everywhere, and use mask for in all time within the house. Okay, in the house and uh, anywhere, anywhere you are going to uh, from house, and you will use the mask proper way. And we are bothered about that disease. 
and we have to obey the rules and regulations of this covid situation from the government we are cooperating with the government okay this is the uh, awareness to the covid 19 so don't fear be safe and you are covered okay we are safe in our home okay okay so leave it we are aware just aware about this covid thing okay corona virus okay but i think this is told this is talking about this corona virus novel corona virus at this time is our subject that topic name is why do we fall ill why do we fall ill Yes, the way we have already learned about this chapter because the previous class is starting this. Why do we fall ill? In previous class, we are already knowing about health. Health. The main point is it is a state of physical, mental, and social well-being. It is a physical. mental and social well being no health is physical mental and social social well being This is a disease-free condition. A healthy persons have healthy persons means the persons have no any disease. The disease-free condition. That is a healthy condition. Okay. Okay. Now we all know about uh, uh, some diseases. Uh, we have already learned uh, in previous class the acute and chronic disease. We have learned about acute. and chronic acute disease and chronic disease yes okay acute disease and chronic disease how do you know about acute and uh, chronic disease this this is is said to be the importance is said to be the acute and chronic that is depending their on duration of this time duration the acute or okay acute and chronic this is acute and chronic that may depend upon the duration of that this is the duration the some of the diseases have some uh, we remind you one day is two days and maximum seven days etc but chronic diseases are your be to be one year two year etc this is the main difference we already learned about this then when uh, infections the disease causing process that is the infections okay when the disease causing organisms This is causing organisms that is known as pathogens. Pathogens. This is causing organisms. Microorganisms are causing microbes. Microbes are there. They are already known about that. There were the disease causing organisms are. Uh, unicellular organisms, multicellular organisms, okay, multicellular organisms, multi uh, microscopic organisms, multi nucleated organisms. I said that disease causing organisms are not not under unicellular organisms. Unicellular organisms are there, multicellular organisms are there, microscopic organisms are there, uh, multi nucleated organisms are there, okay. This is this is pathogenesis. 
we have already known about known about this uh, already known about this pathogens and microbes etc the pathogens this is causing organisms pathogens classified as many more types many more divisions are there basically we have already learned about this microbes or pathogens uh, knowing about this bacteria bacteria and then virus fungus protozoans some hosts look the pathogens these are the pathogens the bacteria virus fungus protozoan and worms these are the pathogens that this is causing microorganisms microbes the bacteria virus fungus protozoans and worms these are the microorganisms this is causing organisms yes in bacteria causing diseases are typhoid fever cholera tuberculosis typhoid some fever cholera and tuberculosis yes dear students this disease and disease causing organisms you must knowing about this microorganisms and uh, the causative diseases etc yes you just uh, write an assignment for uh, you just write a seminar or a seminar project for uh, this bacterial diseases and fungal diseases virus diseases etc using the help of other textbooks uh, and the uh, reference books and the uh, media like social media uh, some you, you check your internet okay okay you just write on as a for paper project uh, a prepared an assignment for this bacterial diseases like typhoid fever cholera tuberculosis Okay, just write, write a simple assignment for you. Simple assignment. You are just collecting the more, just five points for each of the diseases. Just five points. I will give you an assignment for you. That is, assignments are the pathogens, the microorganisms, the pathogens, the pathogens are the bacteria, virus, fungus, protozoans, and the worms. These are the pathogens of microbes, microorganisms, disease causing organisms. Okay. So each one, the bacteria, if examples of that diseases causing bacteria, the examples of that disease are typhoid, fever, cholera, tuberculosis, etc. Tuberculosis, etc. And the one one is the anthrax also. Anthrax. Influenza. 
Then click. Then click. And there is. Also, these are the viral diseases. Okay, these are the viral diseases. And then fungal diseases. Fungal diseases are the old. All the skin problems where where the cause of where the positive organs of skin problems. Skin problems. In plants, the decaying type. They were decaying in plants. This is the human beings. Then the protozoans are protozoans. Uh, malaria, Kalas, Malaria, Kalas. This protos is example called this. This is called protos, protos called Mibiac dysentery. Endemiba historica. I have heard about this. Words Endemiba historica. Mibiac dysentery. Dysentery. These are the main uh, examples for protozoal diseases. Malaria is very dangerous but Malaria is uh, closely uh, related to some type of virus disease. Very dangerous, very communicable diseases are malaria. Yes, we are already known about. Then worms. Example is elementiasis. In Malayalam, it is called the mandu. Mandu. That is the elephantiasis. Uh, this is an elephant like food. In Malayalam, anakka. Mandu. Okay. This is the, uh, the pathogens, the microbes, and of course, diseases. Yes. I will be I just recollecting your assignment. The assignment for this chapter, the topic is write a short note, write an account on these pathogens, microbes, disease causing organisms, and the disease. Although the old, each one, each and every disease, just two or three sentences. Okay. That is the uh, main points. Okay. This is the uh, diseases causing. Okay. Then. Next point is next point is means of spread. Means of spread. The next point is means of spread. The next point is means of spread. The means of spread. Let's say next point. Means of spread. Yes. How do infectious diseases spread? Question is how do infectious diseases spread? How do infectious disease spread? Yes, that is very important question. Many of the microbial organisms, that is, this is causing organisms, this is causing organisms, microbial organisms, the pathogens, they were transporting, travels, moves from other person to the disease causing organisms, pathogens, is then travel to 
one person to other persons vai vasa it's more than three of material metals are here some of spreading through water some of spread in air some direct contact physical contact etc okay some of the contact with air contact the spreading with air some of the organisms uh, spreading through water some of the microbes that cause the organisms they were spreading through uh, drinking water that is that means the sewage water the drinking the drainage water uh, some of the organisms are causing some more uh, diseases and then some of the disease causing to sexual contacts and some of the disease transporting the spreading through physical contacts etc okay the air contacting air is with that was that means the spreading micro organisms that will are spreading through air examples are common cold pneumonia tuberculosis air through air common cold pneumonia pneumonia and then typhoid or it's not proper in way and then tuberculosis tuberculosis these are the transmitted diseases from air with air air transmitted diseases and in water then sexual contacts the microorganisms the disease causing organisms communicable with sexual contacts examples two types syphilis and aids syphilis syphilis and aids In this chapter, we are studying about AIDS. Not the syphilis. Syphilis is not common disease in all of the world, but AIDS is the common disease that is spreading through sexual contacts. Okay. In this AIDS, AIDS means acute immune immunodeficiency syndrome. activities the physical activities were disturbed 
In this activity you disturb. That means the presence of some microorganisms. The microorganisms, the disease causing microorganisms, microbes, is known as pathogen. That some of the examples of pathogens are bacteria, virus, protozoan, fungus, and some uh, worms. We have already learned about that, right? And in this is means of spread, spreading diseases. In this town, nowadays we are facing the situation, the spreading some viruses, coronavirus. The disease name is COVID-19. It's a very dangerous situation in this time. Okay, we are alert and aware about that uh, this situation. Okay, and then that is the importance of this chapter. Is how do infection disease spread? Infection disease spread through air, water, and then some sexual contacts, physical contacts also. Physical contacts. That means physical contacts means what? Physical contacts. Physical contacts means when a person hugging to. Another person had had and shake hands. They uh, the persons the very important persons are coming down and we wishing some type of wishing that in northern countries they wishing with hugging and shake hand. But in India, in India we all shake hand. But in ancient time we were uh, we were respecting them in this type of. The hand holding this time. Okay. But nowadays we are shake hand. The touching of two bodies. Okay. Hugging, shake hands, etc. These are the physical contacts diseases. But in AIDS is a human immune deficiency syndrome. That means mostly virus is a human immune deficiency virus also. This is spreading through sexual contacts. But AIDS spreading not only in within sexual contact but also within blood transportation within the blood relations within the blood that means that flowing that spreading through blood why when a blood donating the infected person donating his blood and the another person that HIV virus will spread through blood to another process. And a lady, a mother, a pregnancy lady have this HIV virus. Then after pregnancy, the baby will born with this HIV virus. That means spreading one generation to other generation. That is the physical context. And, uh, and the blood fissure. So the uh, infections is spreading to air, water, sexual contact, physical contacts, and then flood blood. These are the examples for means of spread of infection diseases spread. That's a question. You just write this question: how do infectious disease spread? And you must answer this question and answer. Okay, this is to be one question. And the uh, in into where some of the disease is spreading through vectors. Have you ever vectors? Vectors are disease spreading organisms. That organisms directly spreading the disease. That is not directly spreading. They are carrying some disease causing microbes this is causing microbes okay some of the uh, organisms like mosquitoes mosquitoes are carrying plasmodium vivax extra that goes malaria okay this is the vector okay then the recollecting chapter what is health and the uh, means of spread and how do infectious disease spread that is the main important important okay i will give you some questions 
you must write the question in your notebook. The first question is how do infectious disease spread? That is the first question. We have already uh, discussed this spreading method. And here, water, sexual contact, physical contact, and the last, bread. And then, second question is what is vector? What are vectors? What are vectors? Let's say second question. Example, give an account of pathogens. Give an account of pathogens. Pathogens means disease causing organisms, that is pathogens. That pathogens are bacteria, virus, fungus, uh, protozoans, some worms, etc. Okay. And the explanation bacteria, virus, structurally, unicellular organisms, and fungus is multicellular organisms, and protozoan is also a unicellular organism, example amoeba, and the worms are the multicellular organisms, that is the parasite like structure. And in parasitic in nature, the worms are present inside the human body, especially in intestinal part. Okay, these are the questions. How do infectious disease spread and what are the vectors and you are account on pathogens? These are the big questions. Okay. Okay, dear students, thank you, thank you very much. Thank you for cooperating with me and see you tomorrow. Bye.